Welcome to the future packaging line here at SMT Hybrid Packaging. This is the place where we see all the new ideas and new gimmicks coming into the industry. Uh, and there's quite an array of different machines uh, and offerings all the way around the room here. We're going to start by uh, introducing Alfred uh, Palmer from CTS, uh, who is bringing in some, some uh, AVG systems uh, for uh, moving materials around the factory floor. Uh, welcome, Alfred. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, tell us a little bit about your robotic systems. Uh, you, you do customized uh, materials handling systems uh, using uh, Omron-based uh, uh, AVG systems, is that correct? Yes, uh, that's, that's fully correct. Uh, we're using the, the Omron LD90 AV vehicle as a base mm -hmm. and as a uh, long year uh, partner of Omron, um, we as a system integrator turn this AV into a complete uh, turnkey solution. So we offer uh, the industry different standard uh, AV vehicles, either for transporting um, PCB magazines like we show it here, or also um, transporting KLT boxes and whatever. And, uh, as a system integrator, we also offer customized tops so to uh, uh, fulfill the indiv individual needs of our customers. Okay. And so, how intelligent is, is, is the software that's driving it? So the software itself is uh, very intelligent, so uh, the AAV is navigating by himself through its environment. Um, it only needs uh, a one uh, time uh, um, yeah, a, a learning phase, so uh, you teach uh, the system the environment and then it is navigating through this environment by himself. You just say, okay, go to this place, which is done by our intelligent material and handling software, and uh, the route itself is planned by the AAV itself. And if there is an obstacle, it moves around the obstacle or searches for uh, another route. So uh, one of the most advantages is that you do not have to change the infrastructure. You just have to connect uh, via our software your existing machines to our material handling AAVs. Okay. So c could you have a scenario where you have maybe a, a factory with three or four lines uh, and uh, the operator on line four says, I need more materials here. Uh, he just makes a phone call to the AVG and he knows to pick up materials and and, and, and uh, bring it to line four. In fact, yes, but this is, uh, um, yeah, let's say for us a semi-automatic semi process. We mm -hmm. mostly do fully automatic so that uh, the replenishment system of the lines mm -hmm. is calling via our software the AAV for bringing their material. Yeah. So not the operator does it, yeah, but uh, the software does the it. Software does and it. yes, of course, this is uh, uh, already uh, running in, the, in, 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 in quite a few factories mm -hmm. where either the lines are uh, connected via the AAVs together. So um, you have the, um, uh, the, the outcome of line one, and uh, then it should be the, the, the input of line three, for example, or uh, you have to move it to a buffer system because the speed of the lines are not equal. Yep. And uh, yeah, this is uh, uh, already best practice uh, in our projects. Great. Well, it's a superb system, uh, Alfred, and uh, I think the bonus is it even talks. <laughs> yes, it even talks. Yes, it's a quite funny gimmick, yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alfred, thank you for showing this to us today. Thank you very much. Okay, so taking us on to the next part of the uh, future packaging line is Eric Young. Uh, Eric Young is, uh, of course, uh, from Fraunhofer Institute. Uh, nice to see you again, Eric. Nice to see you, Trevor. Okay. We, the next one we're looking at here is the ECRA uh, screen printer. Uh, tell us a little bit about what are the key uh, new features that are involved in this, this system. Yeah, the, the ECRA uh, here, the Series 5000, uh, has uh, some very unique features. Uh, for example, aside from just printing at very high precision with its high repeatability as well as uh, uh, the uh, f small feature size we print here, that's 008 mm -hmm. uh, that's, and 004s, uh, so very, very small features. Uh, we have also the unique opportunity uh, of an automatic pushpin support for, mm -hmm. the, uh, for the PCB. Uh, which means that there is a built-in robot which places uh, these uh, pins, these alignment pins and support stubs uh, underneath the printed circuit board without any you know, user or manual user operation. Right, so that's a pick and place machine that takes them along, puts them onto like a magnetic Yeah, it's on a plate. magnetic support yeah. uh, and it does all without intervention of the human operator. Right. Uh, and uh, it offers also the opportunity on the same modular head unit, uh, you can mount also uh, two Auger pump uh, valves, mm -hmm. um, which can dispense, for example, glue, which is a very important feature if you would like uh, to do double side reflow, yeah. uh, because that 
glue dot will then stick the component uh, into its position when it's uh, refloat face down. Can it also be used for uh, dispensing uh, solder paste to areas where that might have uh, not been covered in, in, in the stencil wipe or if you add an extra pad, for example, to, to the design, oh, yes. uh, could you do something like that? Oh yes, that could be done, albeit one would use for that the jet valve. Mm -hmm. So they have one, uh, the model 100 and the model 1 and the model 200 and basically these differentiate between glue and paste dispensing right. and one is the Auger pump, the other one is the jet valve. Right. Great, okay, super. So let's move on to the next uh, item in our line, which is the FNK Delvatec. Uh, they have a, uh, I think, a twin head uh, bonding head uh, with with this uh, uh, system we have behind us. That's right. Albeit we feature only one bond head for thick wire bonding. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a, a thick wire bonding used typically for high power device uh, uh, interconnect. Uh, and as uh, the motto of this line is uh, smart motion, we thought that is a good idea to have that built in. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, by XDH swapping the head uh, towards uh, either thin wire or ribbon bonding, uh, you can have a very high, very high versatility, uh, which offers you a wide range of applications you can serve. Right, uh, so with a dual bond option, clearly you can do both thin, thin wire as well as thick wire bonding, and that gives really rise to the smart power. Yeah. There is one additional feature I might want to mention because this is pretty new. Uh, they have a laser bond head uh, which uh, allows you uh, to expand the processing window significantly mm -hmm. and open up a range of bonding to a novel kind of materials. Right, right, okay. Um, excellent. So that's an interchangeable head, really, that, that, that you can uh, yeah, allow you to, right. be, to be flexible. With a dual head option, clearly you have two heads inside. Right. Uh, this features only one single head, easily swappable. Okay, super. Um, I want to move back to the uh, IPTE uh, system here, mm -hmm. which is a, uh, it's like a board flipper for, for, for uh, uh, laser marking. Yeah. Uh, can you tell us a bit about that? Okay, uh, this, this laser marker, uh, which is built on a platform, from, as you mentioned, IPTE, uh, has the opportunity to not only mark with its laser from one side, mm -hmm. so either you mark a QR code or a plain text code, yeah. uh, but also by flipping that, uh, you can prepare the PCB in one go for dual side reflow, right. uh, because there is no need to add another time a mm -hmm. marking from the other side around. This is done in the flip unit itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and, uh, and so it's a remarkable unit. Uh, it looks uh, a lot of engineering involved in that, but... Uh, wow, uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm, I'm astonished how much pneumatics, electronics, right. and mechanics in one space, yeah. really, really cramped for. There you go, very impressive. So let's move on to the last area that, um, uh, that we, we want to feature this week. Uh, that is the laser system uh, from LPKF. Yeah. It's a depanalyzing system. Mm -hmm. So uh, using a laser uh, to depanalyze the circuit board from the, from the uh, panel towards the individual modules. Uh, and uh, using that laser, uh, in contrast to mechanical milling, has some substantial advantages, mm -hmm. uh, which until now came at the cost of time. Yes. Uh, but they came, uh, so basically uh, getting rid of, uh, of the milling dust, getting rid of any mechanical loads which are exerted to the board or to the component. Yeah. Uh, so what they did right now is they uh, doubled the power of the laser, which brings it on par with the productivity level that you were until now knew only from the mechanical milling. Okay, so it doesn't, it doesn't leave any burning on, 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 the, on the PCB? Uh, uh, not to the extent that you would normally see in a mechanical damage with the milling. Right, right. Clearly, where you cut it, there will be mechanical damage. That's the purpose of it. But there will no be, not be any large uh, burn marks or something like that. But, but a, lot of, a lot less stress to the board, Almost, basically. Most definitely, most definitely. There's no stress, no mechanical stress involved. So this brings us to the point that you can bring that cut line very close to your components. So when we talk about flex circuit, which we don't run here on the line, but flex circuits, we by ourselves have cut that as close as 25 micron to the components, which with any mechanical tool would just not be possible. Not be possible. Yeah, yeah. That's fascinating. Eric, it's always great to, to, to catch up with what's happening new here every year. It's my pleasure. Uh, you, you always come away with some fascinating new products that we just don't see anywhere else. So uh, congratulations for that. Uh, and thank you for joining us today. Enjoy talking to you, Trevor.